here in the home today. Um, this has been encapsulated by another radon mitigation company and the customer still has high radon. The radon right now is at 6.8 pico carries in the home. And so uh, I'm gonna crawl around, I'm gonna look at what's in place and uh, we're gonna figure out why it is not working. So this is the current encapsulation that the other company put in. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much this customer paid for this, but uh, this is kind of what's happening. So we're at the back of the crawl space. Um, this right here is a big gap. I mean, this isn't even sealed. Um, so why is the system not efficient? Why are we maybe still having problems with radon? Well, sealing is a big one. So um, the liner's not even sealed here. It's just kind of draped together um, in a kind of a wadded up mess. Um, that would be one area that we would want to correct is, is sealing. Okay, so we're, again, we're in the back of this crawl space. We're now in a really, really small, tight spot. And you can see um, the foam across the top has stopped. So uh, it was too tight, I guess, and they didn't want to foam or, um, and, and you can see the liner's just haphazardly placed in here. So um, back here, again, super leaky. And it's also kind of hard to tell, but behind this is block that has open uh, holes. So again, those are pathways that lead to excess air, which is gonna cause this system to have um, lots of airflow. So um, these are all important things that we would wanna seal when we're trying to talk about the efficiency of this system in it operating in an efficient manner. So this crawl space has no shortage of examples of Mistake. So again, here's another area. It's kind of hard to see, but where does that go? What in the world? This is just a hole in the crawl space, goes under the slab and the apron out back, and it's just left open. So again, um, <laughs> there's nothing over here to facilitate airflow. It's just picking up tons of excess air um, because it's not well sealed. So these are all things we'd want to seal on the front end uh, to help increase the efficiency of this radon system. Okay, so let's talk about some things that were done well. Um, so I like the foam. Um, we are trying to create a good seal here. Uh, could the liner be tidier and neater? Yeah, absolutely. But is it sealed? Yeah, that's, that's, that's decent uh, in some spots. Of course, there are areas that are not sealed like this. Um, that's a huge, come on, man. We could have done better than that. Um, but for the most part, we got a good seal right here. Um, I, I like the foam. Uh, four inch pipe here. So uh, four inch accommodates larger air flows. Um, so I like the fact that we use four inch pipe here, uh, especially given how leaky it is. Uh, it's also a little bit quieter. Um, and then it looks like there's some type of drainage matting here. So I haven't mapped that out yet, but uh, it looks like they were at least trying and headed in the right direction. So here's a vent pipe, there's a suction point number two, and suction point number one is down that way, but this is sitting completely on the ground. So right here, this actually traps water. You can see this runs back uphill there, uh, and this runs downhill to here. Um, this potentially leaks water and, and probably traps water here at times. We have just showed up to a house um, that has a mitigation system that was installed by another company. Uh, the radon is not being lowered. Um, so we're gonna tear out that entire system today. We're gonna begin to rebuild it and we're gonna fix the radon problem in this home. Let me show you how it's done. This is a nice rainy day today. Uh, but this is the system so here it is you can see it's got a rain cap uh, definitely want to remove that let that vent to the atmosphere um, get rid of the downspout the downspout can be a little bit noisy um, but we're going to take revamp all of this put it all back together and uh, get this radon lowered so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hang up some lights so we can see what we're working with and what we're doing uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and begin to tear all, begin to tear all this off the walls uh, so we're going to tear all this liner off the walls we're gonna roll out some drainage matting and we're gonna get rolling on this install. So we have finished day one. Uh, you can see we've got the drainage matting down. We started to put the strip drain in uh, and we have already started to put in the walls. Um, so again, the first thing we did was 
uh, went around and we tore down all the liner that was currently on the walls. Um, we got rid of that. And then we went around over here. You can see, and we began to foam all the different holes. There's so many different holes in the brick and the block and the mortar. All these things are air pathways that uh, will render the system inefficient. So uh, we foamed all those and then we're beginning uh, to put it all together. So you can see kind of sealing everything up. So it's the end of day two. Uh, we've got the trunk line in. We're starting to put some suction points in here and uh, we're starting to hang the liner on the walls. This is the end of day two outside. You can see we have completely replaced the fan. We replaced all the downspout with four inch schedule 40 PVC vent pipe. Um, and then we took and cleaned up the electrical there. So um, you see this is kind of the new fan that we're gonna cover that with a shroud uh, so that everything's nice and neat and tidy. We are almost done with day three and we are beginning to put in the floor liner. It is looking really, really good in here. This is hands down the weirdest part of this project. Everything is pretty normal except up until this point. So this is an inaccessible space. I'm up against, uh, between the floor joists, um, looking over the wall into this space. <clears throat> we can't seal this off because it's got wood framing. So if we were to seal it off, uh, potentially you rot out this space. So we've got to get creative here. Um, seal this off somehow believe it or not there's a ton of radon coming out from this tiny little hole causing the whole rest of the home to elevate so we got to deal with this space we're going to do that right now all right this was the solution so we covered this with a felt type material uh put some strip drain down underneath that and we cover this entire area with foam um foam is going to seal it's going to bind to the brick and the block in there it's gonna create an airtight seal and depressurize this space. Uh, and it's expansive, so we couldn't get in here, so that was the best solution that we had. All right, so it's the end of day four. We are looking good. Liner's in. We got a little bit more sealing and some things to do, but I mean, overall, this thing's looking pretty good. Right now, it's starting to come down. Let's take a look at that. So this is the new system outside. Uh, so we have completely rebuilt the system. We replaced everything with Schedule 40 PVC vent pipe. It's mechanically fastened to the wall with galvanized pipe clamps. And then we covered everything with a shroud to protect the fan motor and improve the aesthetics of the home. So this is the finished system. This thing is beautiful. This is the most important piece and the reason the customer called us out here in the first place to lower the radon. That's what this system ultimately did. Yes, it's beautiful, but ultimately it lowers the radon. <laughs> 